hear me? And uh, let me introduce myself first. I'm E from uh, Channel Marketing. What's up? I'm E from Channel uh, from DJI Channel Marketing, and I'm looking after the whole APAC uh, marketing issues. So if you have any questions or any uh, conversation that you want to communicate with us about marketing, you can come to me. And today, this um, this sharing is about our new rules of our channel marketing uh, CM rebate program. So uh, I will introduce you in detail about this new program. And I believe you all have received this document of our rebate program menu. This is what I'm showing for now. And um, for this, for today's uh, meeting, I will introduce you in detail in these several parts. First, I will introduce you uh, what is this CM rebate program so that you can know what it is and why we are holding this program and what DJI is hoping to cooperate with you all. And second is the application. In this part, I will explain to you how can you apply for your projects and what's the points that you should pay attention to. The third point is the evaluation. It means uh, I will explain to you how we're going to evaluate your projects and what's our points that we're concerned. Through this, you can know how you can uh, prepare better information to apply so that you can easier to get your rebate back. And the fourth is the workflow. In this part, I would explain to you in the whole process of your rebate applying and your feedback process, what would happen in this workflow and included what DJI would do and what we needed from you. The fifth part is the appendix. Uh, in this part, I would introduce you what kind of activities are included in our program and some limitation, like for example, the military event. And I would uh, explain to you what exactly is uh, prevented and what exactly we are encouraging you to do. And the sixth part is FAQ. In this part, I will share with you some questions that are mostly uh, asked by dealers and your concerned question. And also you can ask me any questions regarding to the CM program uh, and we can have a short discuss upon this. So firstly, let's start from the introduction of this rebate program. Uh, as most of you may have engaged in this program last year, uh, we have this program since 2018. And the reason why we have this program is to encourage our dealers and distributors to engage more in marketing activities while introducing DJI and our solution to the audience. And actually uh, from here, there are one thing that I wanna, I wanna take it into an important point is that uh, to do a marketing event is not just DJI request you to do more marketing event, but we encourage you to think about how to work out for doing more business and how to expand your business. And finally, we come up with that. We think marketing activities can really help with you to expand your business to more potential clients. And I, I believe that our, our, uh, our aim together is that we want to engage more potential clients and raise the business cake together and to let more people know DJS brand and our channel partners brand so that we can make the business work better. This is what we think um, why we're holding this uh, rebate program. And another thing is that in this program, although I talk here is mainly about the financial support, but actually we would support more than financially. If you have some uh, needs or requests about marketing materials or any workflow of how to do a marketing activity, or if you are in need of some human source, uh, or technical things, you can ask us. 
So we are trying our best to support you in this all kinds of expanding your business in marketing part. So I'm always welcome for any communication about that. And as for the application part, this part I'll introduce you about how to do application for your programs. Um, for this year, we apply, we open the application of the marketing activities every quarter. It means um, every quarter you have one chance to apply for all your marketing activities in a bundle, which means at the uh, at the la every last month of each quarter, like for example, March, June, September, and December, you, you would have the chance to apply for your marketing activities of the next quarter. It means in March, you, uh, in March is the last month of Q1, you need to apply for all your planning projects for Q2. And by the end of Q2, uh, you would need to um, submit your feedbacks of all your projects you have done. Uh, within 10 days after we receive your application, we will evaluate and tell you back the result of your application and the result would include two possibility. The one is approved. It means your uh, application, the project is approved, pre-approved by us that we would go to support you on this project. But some of your projects in this quarter may be um, not meet our needs. So it could be pending or denied. And the reason of pending and denied would be uh, maybe you are um, you are submitting the incomplete information so that we cannot judge wh whether this uh, activity is good for the business. Or also, it could be possible that this marketing project doesn't not meet the basic expectation of the program. Um, maybe you are doing some wrong direction or too simple projects. And the third point I believe you need to pay more attention to is that if you are holding the military focus event, we would not um, we will not support you on this kind of event, because officially from DJI's part, we we do not want to engage in too much defense or military things, which may be a bit trouble for both of you and me. Um, also, for these events or activities, you apply if it gets the pending or denied. It, it doesn't mean that it's denied 100%. You have one time resubmission chance. It means that if you get our notification through email that uh, saying that like two of your activities applying for Q2 is denied, you still can get more information and to clearly uh, speak out why you're going to do this event. And you have one chance to resubmit these events. So um, it's very possible that we can still give you the approve after this, but you only have one time uh, chance to resubmit it. And uh, after your events uh, doing, after you, you have done your events in this quarter and at the end of, like for example, Q2, at the end of Q2, you need to uh, submit the online feedback form, included some pictures of the site, and the final effect of the site, for example, how many attendees, and uh, you need to tell us how much exactly you have paid for this event and attach some invoice. And after your online feedback form, we would evaluate this and then give you the feedback that whether we are going to um, really rebate you or not, and how much we are finally going to rebate you. And after that, you can get your money. And the third part is the evaluation. In this part, I will introduce you how we're going to evaluate every kind of the events you are going to hold. Like what what's the points that we mainly concern? I will give you some examples so for you to better understand this part. Um, like for this year, we would uh, include several types of events that we are going to support. The first kind is trade show and conference. As you know, 
last year and previously, we always do some trade shows for marketing. Uh, for trade shows and conference, the first uh, concerned point is that it needs to be an industrial vertical focus. It means that um, we, we encourage you to do like more industrial focus events, for example, the drone events or surveying vertical events or public safety events. But if you are going to do some consumer kind of event, we are not going to support you. Or if you are going to do some industry that is far away from our drone industry, like for example, food, like food show or things like that, we were not going to support you for that. And also the second part is that the target customers will be present. And the third is that we hope you can be clearly uh, defined what's the objective of attending this event. Like for example, if you are going to a trade show or conference, you can tell us that you are going to this trade show for gathering sales leads, or maybe you are going to erase the brand awareness or erase the people's knowledge of, of DJI's brand. And that would be cool. We have a list of the objectives. You can choose from that. But we, we, we sincerely hope that you can uh, do an event and knowing why you are going to do this event, we can align with that so that we can make better effect of the events. And the second one is the roadshows, workshop, zero training events. Uh, I can give you some uh, introduction of these categories, like the road shows for this year, we defined it like if you are uh, having a series of uh, small offline events uh, in some region, like for example, you're taking a trunk and then you travel around um, North Australia, things like that. And you do the introduction and demo for a group of clients or potential clients we will regard it as the road show and we suggest you to do that and for workshop is a small scale offline event it's similar to uh, what we say before the seminars workshop or road shows so for workshops we uh, we suggest that this event should be like more than two clients you gather the clients or potential clients together to introduce them uh, the DJI's brand or DJI's solutions. As for the dealer training event, it's a new category for this year that we encourage you to do more training maybe to your sub dealers or your clients or your potential clients and you, you do some training to them, we will also support for this. And for these categories, what we are concerning is that first, still the objective of hosting the event we want, we want you to clearly um, define why you are going to do this event. And the second is the invested guests, our target customers, of course. And we also need, uh, what, what are you thinking? What's the expected attendees before the event? And the third thing is the customer success case study list referral. Um, well, this is still a quite new uh, idea for this year is that uh, we, we know that we do have a lot of great channel partners and you have great relationship with the clients. Previously, you do some ser service with them and these clients, maybe they are big company or they are using our drones in a good way so that we, we think it can be some success case studies that works for the whole APAC or was for the country. So if you have this kind of uh, good case of a client and you introduce us to the client, we make the case study together. Actually, DJI would have our manpower to do the case studies, whatever is a video or some article. We send someone to do it and you introduce our copywriter with the clients and if this success case study finally works out and endorsed by DJI, we can publish it. You can get some uh, fee rebate for your leads and your hard work of communication during this. Uh, and another type of event is the multi-brand commercial UAV competition. Well, this is also a new one. So I will explain it to you more detail. Like, 
um, for example, in Korea, previously we do have a event in this kind that uh, our client, no, our potential client is holding an event and they, they are going to test the aeroscope and they invited DJI and other companies, other brands who have this product of aeroscope and we have the compete at the site. The potential client, they also invited some medias and finally uh, our dealers that represents DJI, they win. So for this kind of activities, if you have some chance to attend in, in these activities, we would love very much if you can um, attend in this and we will support you for that. If you can uh, tell us this information when you are just at the very beginning, we can also support you with some technical and manpower and ideas. And if you finally win this, and if you finally win this uh, competition, you can also get some bonus from us. And for these uh, events, uh, a good news is that for last year, we would provide like 20%, 30% because we have a complex uh, evaluation matrix. But for this year, if you meet our basic uh, needs and our basic evaluation things, you can get 50% of the actual project cost of these types of marketing projects. And still, there's one point that all the rebates will be canceled if Channel Partners project is execution involved the foreign action. Is still the three uh, red lines of last year. The one is if you mentioned the DJI's competitor or you showcase the competitor's products during the event, it will be canceled. Or if you uh, show up some false information in the event, it will be canceled. Or if you do some uh, negative description or do some additives that may damage DJI's image, then we would regard it as a damaging action. So you would be still be canceled. And the fourth part is the workflow. Uh, well, I believe you are more concerned in this part because uh, it's really related to how you're doing this. So for the workflow at the, at the beginning, like every last month of each quarter, we would open the application on online and you can, you can submit the online application form. Uh, for this year, like every online application form, you can submit a bundle of events together in once. So you don't need to like submit it every by every cases and every project. So it would be very convenient. And after you submit this online application form, I will show you the online application form later. After you submit this online application form, we will um, get back to you for the notification and the result in 10 days. Um, and your result could be approved or pending or denied. But as I just said, the pending or denied situation, you can make one-time resubmission still. And uh, till now, your application at, uh, action is done and you need to prepare for your activities, your projects. And after you, you have done your project and at the end of this quarter, you need to submit the project report by the online feedback form within the quarter. And you can also still submit all, every of your projects in a bundle together by the online feedback form. And after you submit the online feedback form, by the end of the quarter or the early next quarter, we would get back to you with the result and we will tell you how much uh, you would get from our rebate credit. It's quite simple. Uh, well, uh, one addition point is that um, although 
we are although our application is opened every quarter but still if you have some uh, special cases in the middle of the quarter like for example you have applied for Q2's project in March but in April you found that you have a good chance to have one uh, event in May you can still apply for it but uh, well the priority of the special cases are not that high so we encourage you to uh, better submit all your plans together Um, so here we come to the appendix. The first thing is the definition of the projects. <laughs> As I have said previously, the trade shows, the conference, the road shows, workshops, and dealer training events, customer success case study leads, and multi-brand commercial UAV competitions. As I have introduced to you previously, here we have some detailed description of all kinds of activities so that you can consider whether you can have this kind of um, chance to do this kind of activities so that we can have better cooperation. And well, I will send you this menu afterwards by mail so you can read it in detail. And here, this is important point, like uh, I have said that your, your activity could be denied or cancelled because of uh, it's related to a military event. And here is the definition of military event. So first, if it's hosted or organized by a military department or organization, the second is that weapons are displayed or military topics are discussed. Third is that the words including but not limited to military, national defense, they appear in the name of the event. These three situations, if these three uh, descriptions, one of one or more than the above descriptions is considered a military event. So DJI will not support or authorize local channel partners to participate in such events in the name of DJI. And definitely we will not support our rebate on this kind of military event. Hope you understand it and consider it. And here comes to the FAQ. Uh, well, these all questions we have mentioned uh, previously just now. So the first one is uh, when should you submit the application? Uh, the application opens on a quarterly basis. So if you are going to submit the Q2 application, you would do it at the, by the end of March. And uh, when the second one, when do you need to claim your credit rebate? You are, uh, you, are SBIT, you are expected to submit the online feedback form for all previous applied projects by the end of each quarter, which means if you are going to get your rebate back, you need to submit the online feedback form and we can see that, okay, this event, sorry, sorry. Okay. So um, let's continue because just now someone is speaking. Uh, if you are going to, if you are going to claim your credit rebate back, who is speaking again? Sorry, everyone, please mute yourself for now. Okay, and you can, um, you need to submit the online feedback form so that we can know these activities actually happened and we can know that how much you exactly pay for your activity. And the third question, if you are going to organize some, like for example, workshops, but you don't, you never done it before and you don't know how to do it, uh, DJI would provide you with some materials and also uh, in the coming several months, uh, I would hold some webinars to train you about some good cases from other countries, how they are doing their seminars or how they are doing their webinars 
I will show you some good cases and at the time, please come. And if you have any questions or you want to discuss more about marketing issues with me, please feel free. Anytime is okay. And how can you get marketing material support? Uh, actually, we do have a Google Drive that uh, in that we have all our marketing materials. And I believe every of you have got this Google Drive before. If any one of you didn't have this Google Drive, please contact me or contact yourselves represent. Um, the next question is DJI going to help you with promoting a project? Well, it depends on uh, how's the project. So um, we will see whether it deserves us or whether it's ne necessary for DJI to promote the project for you. You can regard it as a resource from DJI and you can always come to me to dis discuss with that if you have this need. Uh, the next question as for the sample unit. For sample unit, I suggest you to uh, discuss closely with your sales represent for details. When an application is denied, but you still find it variable. Uh, so the next question here, if your application is denied, as I said before, for the first time, we pre-approve and pre-denied your application. If you, uh, if you find that it's really worthwhile and you can gather your information and clearly explain to us why you are going to do this event again. So that's the one time resubmission. And if you do this resubmission and after it, uh, you still cannot get our proof, it's still denied. So at this situation, you can still attend the event or execute the, the project, but you have to use your old logo or branding instead of DJI's. So in, conclu in conclusion for this question, you have one time resubmission and if it still not work, you need to attend by yourself. And the next question, how do you get the rebate from the category consumer customer success case study? Uh, for this, I think I have explained it previously. You need to introduce a case study or story opportunity to DJI Enterprise. And if it's successful, help us develop into a case study. You can get the rebate. Okay, the last two questions. If a marketing project involves both enterprise, consumer, and agro's products, like for example, you are going to attend to a drone show, um, which is not just enterprise side, including several department of DJI. Uh, we, we DJI Enterprise will still support the marketing project if it meets the requirement listed in this menu. And we really regard it as uh, doing good benefit to DJI Enterprise business. But still, we would also make sure that the internal alignment is made between DJI Enterprise and consumer and agro's team. And basically, um, we would suggest that the total budget we support gathered together from the three departments from us is less than 50% of your project. The last one, if you have a marketing project that does not fall into any of the categories mentioned above, can you still apply for the rebate? Um, yes, of course. If you do, if you have a marketing project, uh, you have any plan you think is worthwhile, but it's not in this menu or in these categories. Like for example, if you are going to do some advertising or if you are going to uh, make some contents or um, like case studies, you are going to make it by yourself. We really encourage you to do that and we're going to pay you if uh, it's really a good, uh, good try, like if you are going to do some uh, advertising or content production and that meets our needs, I, we will rebate you. Or if, if you have other types of 
events or activities or like online projects or campaigns, you can tell me your plan and we can we can rebate or cooperate with that case by case. It means that it's not limit, please don't limit it your imagination. So it's so much for this document. Um, let me okay, stop it. 